Hello, children. So in the time from the last video that had the same subject matter, I've made it quite a bit more customs. Some are still here, a lot of them are sold off to friends, but we still have the pictures of them, so we're still going to talk about them. That's right, folks. Welcome back to the Custom Figure Show. To start off, we're going to talk about some movie figures. And what better way to start off with a figure that we didn't get unless you lived in Japan? Stinger. Yeah, I took the Age of Extinction Bumblebee, painted him red, gave him some extra details, and yeah, it's pretty much what they did with the official figure, so... Figure what's the difference. Cheaper this way and it gives you the satisfaction of customizing a figure. Moving on from there we're going to talk about another figure but this is one of the first ones that have been sold off. This is Age of Extinction Voyager Class Nemesis Prime. Made from the Evasion Mode Optimus Prime this figure has now been sold to my good friend Larry of Larry Arts Productions and if you want to see him talk about it he did an unboxing video for the other stuff that I sent him. Keeping on with the movie figures we're going to go on to a figure that I got from BotCon 2011 but customized about last year. It's Revenge of the Fallen Breakaway, but painted up to look like Armada Thrust. I love the color scheme of Armada Thrust, and the way that it looks on this figure just makes it look even better. Even got the red there right on his robo nipple. Yeah, as Breakaway was a great figure, but as Thrust, it makes me love him even more. Looking away from the movie figures for just a little while, we're going to talk about the Fall of Cybertron guys. These are figures that I got with the Microblaze Creations Military Titans figure when I bought them off of eBay, and I already had the Combaticon, so I used these figures to customize. So we're just going to talk about them real quick. The first one is Trailbreaker made from Swindle. The next one is his brother Hoist made from Onslaught. I even removed the Bruticus head from his back to make to make sure that the gun could fit on his back. And it works great. Next up is Guzzle who I think looks really cool but didn't have to change him all that much because Brawl was already green. The next one is Vortex made to look like Armada Cyclonus who can also go as Cyclone. This is one of my favorites. And last one is Lugnut who was made from Blastoff. This is definitely my number one favorite. The way that he looks even with his eye just painted in the center between the regular Blastoff eyes and his claw hands that I made. I just, I hate to sound pretentious and douchey, but like, I love my work on that one. All of them except for Lugnut were sold to a store in downtown Omaha called the Imaginarium. Lugnut was sold to my friend Michael, otherwise known as TFA1024, the Transformers Addict. And I sold him some other customs, but we'll come back to those in just a second. There's one more that was sold to the Imaginarium, and it was Crosscut that I painted black. Originally, I was going to use him as Sound Blaster for my original 13 Prime shelf, since I looked on TF Wiki and found out that Sound Blaster was kind of one of the 13, but kind of not. It was strange. But I decided to sell him off because I needed money and I'm a fan of not starving to death. Onto those figures that I sold to Michael, we have uh, Titan's Return Omega Supreme, which was made from the Sentinel Prime mold, and I used him in Exodus, as you will come to know in the future. Next up, we have Siren, which was made from Titan's Return Blur, and I gotta say, I think that it, w it looks great. We didn't get a Siren figure, all we got was the Loudmouth Titan Master, but it fits pretty well, in my opinion. Now it's time to move on to Shattered Glass. The first one is Optimus Prime, made from the 2007 Leader Optimus Prime. I talked about this in my last custom figure show, but I never showed him off, but I'm showing him off now. This was my first ever Transformer figure when I started collecting, and I didn't want to give him up, so... I customized them, and I'm glad that I did. Granted, it looks shoddy and terrible, and it could have been done a lot better. And who knows, maybe I will still do a lot better on a different Optimus Prime. But I'm not ready to give this figure up yet. Still one of my favorites. And there are multiple figures on Shattered Glass. If you guys follow the Zero One Trans Fan Facebook page, which, if you go to, you can find pictures of all of these figures, as well as some other ones that I won't be covering, you'll know that I just got done with a new custom. Shattered Glass... Treadshot. I'm a huge fan of Crosshair's Productions and his shows Transformers Broken Mirror and Ascension. I wanted to get myself a Treadshot so badly, but the official one is so expensive. And I got the GDO wheelie figure for free, and I had a spare blur head, and that's what I made him out of. And I got the good guy Decepticon symbol from CapturedPrey.com. It's really cheap, and I highly recommend that you check them out. But yeah, I'm so glad that I made this figure. Is it 100% perfect? No, but not all customs are going to be 100% perfect. And this figure makes me happy. And that's what counts, right? And as always, I like to do little details that aren't too extensive on figures, like little Wheelie here. I painted him up to look like how he would if he had repro labels. One of these days, I'm going to buy repro labels for something. But then there's also the kind of more extensive ones, but they're still the same character. Like the Scourge here. I painted him up to look better, in my opinion, and I also flipped his legs around, took the knees off of his original plates, and also took the plates off, glued the knees onto here, and to me, this looks so much better. Also, these do not tra hamper the transformation in any way, so if you want to go for it, I say go for it. Just remember to be careful. And then there's also kind of smaller ones that don't exactly have any cutting to be involved, like Windblade here. All of her repaints were just all paint. This was actually made from the Robots in the Sky's mouth-plated version, and if you, and if you know what that looks like, then... 
you know how different that this is. For one thing, she has a face. You can still kind of tell that it's mouth plated, but it looks good, at least to me. But yeah, I just painted her up to look the way I wanted it to, and to me, this looks amazing. And again, if you want to see any more of the customs I have used to have, and even ones that weren't covered, then you can go onto the Zero One Trans Fan Facebook page. I'll leave a link to it in the description below. But yeah, that's pretty much all I wanted to talk about. I just like sharing my customs with you guys. If you like what I do, let me know down in the comments below. And that's pretty much all I wanted to talk about. So thank you all so much for watching. I'm Zero One Trans Fan, the number one, and I'll talk to you next time.